Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to Clear Skin and Wellbeing. So today I thought I would do face yoga for glowing skin. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe, please like and also please share. Right, face yoga for glowing skin. First things first is to sit down in a comfortable position and as I always say to have your soles of your feet on the ground and to sit up nice and upright with your shoulders back. You don't want to be hunched over and shortening the neck. So nice and straight and in alignment. Now I've washed my face and I don't have any products on my skin at all. It's always best to have your skin nice and clean. You, you don't want any foundation as such or anything like that because you can be working the skin and you don't want all that product to go penetrate even further because that can lead to spots. Right, so the skin's nice and clean and I'm just going to tie my hair back up a little bit. Now, face yoga for glowing skin. We're going to do a little bit of warm up first because I always like to, I always feel you need to warm the skin up a bit like, as I've said before, going to the gym, a bit of a warm up and then we can get into a few yoga um, pinching moves, if you like, for the glowing skin. And then I just like to just finish off with a bit of detoxification to just get rid of anything remaining within the face and the head. And that would be almost like the cool down, if you like. Right, so first things first, we've washed the skin and I want to, especially if you've got mature skin, dry skin, it's quite a good idea to either put a serum on first um, or I'm going to put on some face mist just for a bit of hydration. Um, now I've got my trusted face mist here, there are plenty on the market. So just a couple of squirts and that's great just from the, the face and the neck. And it just helps lock any hydration in. You don't really want to be doing face yoga, stretching and pulling the face. If you don't have any hydration, if your skin is very dry, it's going to create wrinkles, it could break the skin. And so it's good to get your face nice and hydrated. And then once you've done that, another important step for me anyway, is to put on some form of slip. Now I tend to use a organic rose hip oil and you could use others as long as they're kind of plant-based rather than mineral based if you like so i've got my organic rosehip oil here trilogy do a good one as well and you know a little goes a long way two or three drops and then what i would do is rub it all over just rub your hands actually first before you put it onto the face just get some friction into the palms of your hands and get some warmth in there and then just close the eyes and just apply onto the face and you can feel the energy from your hands and then perhaps you know with your eyes closed just take a couple of deep breaths from the belly in through the nose and out through the mouth Right, now one, it calms the nervous system down, and two, it also gets some energy to, not energy, sorry, some oxygen to the skin. So, that's better. So now once we've put on our face oil, before I start, you know, I'm, I'm going to do some pinching motions to help with the glowing skin, I just like to warm the skin up now. So I tend to do that just by doing a little bit of um, massage with my hands and I tend to always start from the neck and go upwards. Now we have lots of lymph nodes within our face so and that we have a lot around here so it's quite good to just get under that chin and jawline and just go up. I may hear a dog crying in the background ready for dinner and then up there and then start to work the way up the face in sweeping motions 
You could use one hand at a time and do this, which actually is a very good, I do tend to do that actually. Or, you know, depending on how much time you want, you could just do two and then just work your way up. When you get to the eye area, just be very careful. It's very fine here, one of the finest parts of the skin on your body. So you just want to go very carefully, and just warm it all through. Up to the third eye. You may start calming down once you start reaching the third eye, because it does kind of make you feel sleepy does calm you down, the nervous system. Right, so we've warmed up the skin. So what I'd like to do first, again, we'll start on the neck, work our way up, and is to do just a little pinching method. You could use your fingers this way, or you could just do them that way, or you could just do it that way, whatever's easiest for you. I tend to, I don't tend to pinch like this. I, I tend to do this, this motion. And you just want to just, Pinch the skin, it will go slightly red. You don't want to pinch too hard, obviously, but just a little pinch. And that will just get the blood cells coming, going, and it will just help increase that collagen. You can just go, start from the middle, work your way to the end. Again, you can keep taking lots of deep belly breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth at this point. And then start working the way under here, just under the jawline. You, again, you don't want to go too hard because there's lots of, on this part, as I've said before, lots of lymph nodes. You don't want to be squashing and squeezing them too much, just a little bit. And then here, on this part here, again, get our fingers and just pinch. This really does help with the blood circulation. Right, and once we've done that, we can start working up here. Here it tends, tends to get a little bit, you know, liney, so we can pinch here. And we work our way under the cheekbone. As I say, I always like to work out, go from the inside of the face and work out. Now you don't want to be creasing and tensing any other parts of your body or, and also, more importantly, any parts of your face. You want to keep it nice and relaxed and loose and then work our way up. Again, being very, very careful on the side parts. As you can see, it's starting to go slightly pinky red now and that's great, that's fine. Right, when we get to here, you could do a little bit more of a pinching motion so you can get even deeper into those cheekbones. And then once we've done that, so just go further up. Now, there's not much skin here on the forehead, so it's probably best you could pinch, but there's not much to pinch. I would just go in an upward motion with my fingers. Again, not tensing any other part of the face. You can go slow or as fast as you like, depending on how much time you've got. And then here on the eyebrows, you can pinch those. This is really good for lifting up the eyes. Maybe I'll hold it for a few seconds. Okay, one last time. And then I'll just work it round. I don't like to go in a round motion because that means one way is going to be great, but then the other way you're going to be dragging it across. As I say, and if you had to do it that way, then you'd be dragging it across that way. So always best to just do it in two, two ways, just motions like that. 
Now you could repeat those steps again and start from the neck and go all the way up on that pinching motion. I haven't touched the nose. I, I don't think the nose really, I mean, you could do that if you wanted to. It actually feels quite nice, particularly if you're quite sinusy and you need a little bit of release. This would actually could be quite a good one. Right, and then when you've done all of that, so we've done the warm up, we've done all our pinching, getting all that lovely blood cells all coming up to the skin. It's then time for, I would actually finish off a bit like the cool down if you like, just by doing a few pieces of massage, just to get all that lymph moving. So we'll just work away. Probably starts on the face at this point. I'm just go by what feels, but I, I do like to work and always work upwards. All the way we have lots of nodes here. As I say, you may want to start swallowing at this point as you start releasing any toxins within the face. And then up here very carefully on those parts here where you may get some crow's feet and wrinkles. But you can see it just really smooths out. And by using that rosehip oil, I can't recommend it enough. It really does help. And then on this side. And then working our way up. Sweeping motions, you don't need to go too hard. The lymph is very, very close to the surface of the skin and you don't want to be crushing it. And then up here again, very careful. Just, and you don't want to go above the bone. I'm just it all coming up. And then just sweep it up. Finish off with a sweeping motion. <laughs> You're hungry. And then once you've done that, we just want to release all the toxins. We've worked the face, so you don't want to just leave it there, otherwise it's just going to sit there stagnant. You want to release it out of the head, so starting from here, working our way down. And then, again, just gives us a, a nice rub, just in small circular motions. And then going back to the back of the ears, lots of nodes here, and then just move, push it down push it down the neck. I only advise pushing down the neck at the back, not at the front. The front you want to be going in an upward motion and the back you want to be going down. And then once you've done that, here where we have the clavicle, we've got two points here, just either side, and you just want to give those a few pumps because all those toxins and everything that we've released from the face has now travelled all the way down, all the way down the neck. And it's also kind of sitting here. So you want to pump that because that will release it into the rest of the body, rest of the fall, ready for elimination, basically. So then you should feel slightly lighter headed. You probably would feel smoother in the face because we've used our oils and we've worked the skin. As you can see, the face then becomes nice and glowing. I'd highly recommend doing this two, three times a week if you have time. If not, if you don't have time, maybe a nice Sunday afternoon when you have a bit of self-care time for yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please like and also please share. And I will see you on the next one. Okay, bye.